withdrawal reflex. And there's kind of three parts of the withdrawal reflex. You know, you have just your plain withdrawal, you do the withdrawal with reciprocal innervation. Yeah, sure. And then also with the cross leg. <laughs> Kind of part one, part two, part three? Yeah. So is it just three um, different hard. ways to withdraw, or do these three things happen every They kind of all work together. Okay. They kind of, they're all separate reflexes, but in reality, if I step on a Lego, I'm not only going to use just my withdraw. So I'll probably end up using my withdraw reflex with cross extensor. So is it like um, three tracks and one just goes longer than the other or something? How would you yeah, you can kind of think of it. Kind of, I think of it as steps, like we're learning just the withdrawal reflex, then we're going to learn draw with reciprocal innervation and cross leg. In reality, you're always going to be up here, but you have to learn these first. Mm -hmm. so. But they are three separate reflexes, but they all kind of work together to make a bigger one, which you use. Because your brain is so cool. Your brain is so cool. That's why. Okay. So withdraw, what is your receptor? Uh, pain. <laughs> pain, also known as a? Nociceptor. Nociceptor. Oh. Nociceptor. This is all new stuff for the Sylvie. Okay, is this new? Have yeah. you not gotten on this yet? Yeah, okay. Yet. Hey, you'll be so you like have your pain primed for... With the draw reflex, the whole point of it is when you step on a Lego or a tat, so you don't just keep sinking it in your foot. Yeah. Withdraw. Okay, so pain or your nociceptor is your receptor for this one. Okay. Okay. So it's going to be activated. You send a what? Afferent. Afferent. Afferent sensory. Uh huh. Okay. Then what happens? Do you have an inner neuron, or do you directly synapse with that motor? Inner neuron. Do all three? They all have. They all have. Uh, stretch reflex is going to be your only one for now. That does not. Okay. The rest of them all do. Mm-hmm. Okay. What is this guy? Mm-hmm. Are they all alpha neurons? Motor neurons? Yep. Oh, that's and why would that be? What? Because you're sensory, you're basically just sensing something, and when it gets up to your brain, you're just going to do a motor movement. Which is why it's motor and sensory. So yeah, they'll all be a, either sensory or motor. So motor is movement, sensory is just uh -huh. building up to it. Yep. Okay, where does this guy want to go? You type me into a computer, mm -hmm. like a remote control car. Mm -hmm. You know, like you push forward, sense the sensory, and then it triggers the motor. Nice. There we go. <laughs> Goes down. <laughs> <laughs> so. Then we're in action. See, yeah, with sensory, we don't have any action yet. As far as like actual, like visible mm -hmm. things, whereas motor, that's where we get it. Okay, motor neuron goes where? Ooh. To the receptor. No. Alexa. Goes to the. Oh, no. <laughs> it's got to go to a muscle of some kind. Get yeah. it a muscle, which is our flexor in the sense. Okay. Let's say I stepped on a tack. What's my flexor muscle? It's your hamstrings, right? Yeah. Isn't it? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, sorry, I'm going to address you, can't I tell? Hamstrings, right? <laughs> or your hip flexor. Or your hip flexor. Ah. That'll do. Yeah, you guys are learning all your muscles in love right now, huh? Yeah. yeah. Mm, there you go. Flexor is. Which one? Excitatory inhibitory? Mm -hmm. Excitatory. Yep. I was like, I'm not sure what she's asking. <laughs> yep. So we're going to contract. We're not going to relax it. If we relax it, we would really just stay there. And we get to feel more pain. And then we don't like pain. Our nature is to avoid pain. I actually have a friend that her nociceptor on mm -hmm. her hand doesn't work. Really? Mm -hmm. Her hand is numb. Pain. Did she like get in an accident or something? No, or? she was born with the umbilical cord wrapped around her, and so it, it cut off part of her hand, and so her hand kind of looks like this, but it's always clenched, really? always clenched. Um, but she, she can't feel. she can't feel it, and so she's constantly got like burns and scratches and stuff Ooh, like that. Right. Her, and she doesn't even realize like her hand is burning. It's like Heather. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you have the color? Hey, Dad. 
Yeah, yeah. And, and seriously. And so her nociceptor doesn't work in her hand. Wow. Isn't that interesting? So it doesn't send the afferent sensory to her spinal cord at all. Therefore, she has no motor. Mm -hmm. So she just keeps it back? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's crazy. Mm -hmm.